Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see I have big news. Um, first of all I'm sorry that I haven't been posting for yeah, probably about one and a half years now. Um, I just didn't have the time to experiment a lot and to make YouTube videos. So yeah, but now I'm back and I'm back with some tubes. So yeah, um, I got these tubes for a very very good um, price and well let's start with the magnetrons so here we have some soviet radar magnetrons um, i don't know the um all the specs from my head now but this one is a 360 kilowatt pulse magnetron it's a new soviet magnetron with even the original plastic cap on there so a very nice magnetron um, it's very very big and very heavy here I have a 0 0.5 uh, liter beer can for reference so yeah look at this they, they are pretty beefy um, these ones are uh, almost the same uh, they are M I M I one hundred forty seven. This is the one hundred forty seven B, and this is the one hundred forty seven. So they are only slightly different, um, but yeah, they have a output power, a pulse output power of one uh, megawatt. So pretty good. Um, and this one is also very nice. This one has an output power of 1160 kilowatts, so also one uh, over one megawatt. This one has water cooling ports um, here, so this one is water cooled, pretty cool. Um, nah. Yeah, now I can get the cap on. Um, also, you can see the output. Oh, it's heavy. Look, it looks pretty cool. Oh, it's hard to hold it's very very heavy um, so yeah now we come to the smaller tubes of the collection the GU39B nothing special just a standard GU39B um, but the special thing is I got this this thing with the grid ring connector it has a cap built into it Ceramic cap, 3300 uh, 3, picofarads at 3 uh, kV. Uh, this thing is very rare. You can't even find it. It's it's extremely rare. Um, so, yeah, wait, I don't know if I can. Wait, let me get the tube out. It sits on the tube like this. Uh, kind of hard to do with one hand. This is how it sits on the tube itself looks pretty cool ah i can't get it off now wait so got it off now now it's sitting there um yeah well this tube right here is a gu 10a it's a triode nice little triode um i have the data sheet for it right here i don't know the values out of my head now um but it is a it's a uh, I don't know I can't find the output power now but it's a nice little um, tube uh, this one right here is well a bit bigger this one is the, the GU 22A it's also a triode very heavy uh, I like it it's nice and um, this one has a filament that takes 8.3 volts at 140 to 160 amps so quite quite a serious uh, filament and it has an anode dissipation of 20 kilowatts so a nice little tube um, it's cool that it is a triode I was missing a high power triode now I have one because well I wouldn't consider the GU5B as high power so yeah now I have a nice little 
triode. Now we come to the interesting tubes. These ones are way, way bigger. So where do we start? Let's start with the tube that is sitting right here. This is the GU76B. Uh, uh, it's a nice big tetrode, as you guys can see. It's very heavy. It has a weight of, wait, it is 20 kilograms. So yeah, pretty big. The filament takes 11 volts and 150 to 190 amps. So pretty, pretty impressive. Um, it has an output power of roughly 40 kilowatts. So yeah, a nice little tube, I would say. Now we come to, well, my favorite tubes. So this one is the GU66A. It's very, very rare. You can't really find uh, the GU66B. Um, you can come across the GU66A though, but the B version is, yeah, very hard to find. Um, yeah, look at this. It's very interesting that it is made like this, not the normal thins that you see on, on other tubes. So yeah, pretty interesting design. Um, I think my, my guess is that it is basically the GU66A, but they just squeeze the fins around it and call it a day, I guess. I don't know. I'm not sure, but yeah, pretty big, pretty nice. Also very heavy. This is the heaviest tube of the whole collection. This one weighs 23 kilograms. It has a anode dissipation of 60 kilowatts and a output power of 100 kilowatts. So quite a serious tube. It takes 13.5 volts and roughly 200 to 250 amps to get the filament going. So yeah, this is a very serious tube. Um, now let's talk about this tube. I don't know, I think this one is oh, almost my favorite or maybe this one, I'm not sure. Uh, this is the GU23A, um, a very nice big tube, also 60 kilowatts of anode dissipation. I mean, look at this. Uh, wait, I will get my beer can. So, yep, this is how big the tube is. Also, here's it next to the GU66A. Um, it's a triode. A very nice big triode with the grid uh, ring, water cooled look. This is kind of interesting. There's a small pipe going around the grid ring, so it's nice and water cooled. Um, this one takes weight. Uh, sorry, guys, I don't, I don't have all the all the values in my head now because I just got these tubes today, so I'm still not familiar with the values. So yeah, this one takes 11.5 volts or 12 volts and a filament current of yeah, pretty much 200 amps. So also quite a lot, um, very powerful tube. And yeah, now we come to this tube. I don't know, I just love this tube. This is the GI5B. It's a pulse tube. And this tube is just insane. The filament takes 6.3 volts at 460 amps. So yeah, it's a real beast. Um, very, very nice tube. I will definitely try to power up this one. Uh, I mean, I will power up all the filaments of all these tubes. They are all in working condition. Um, well, they are pretty much all new. Uh, I think none of these tubes were used. This one is like brand new out of the box. So yeah, all these tubes are brand new. Um, but yeah, this one will definitely be powered up. Uh, I still have to think about how I can power up the filament. Maybe, uh, well, one of you guys has an idea. I would try to get a few server power supplies, put them in parallel and reduce the output voltage. So modify them to put out 6.3 volts. But yep, 
this is a real beast uh, it weighs wait it weighs 12 kilograms um, and yeah the maximum voltage of this tube the anode voltage is 27 kilovolts so yeah quite nice um, there's a mistake in the data sheet um, it says that the maximum anode voltage uh, where is it ah there peak voltage 2.7 kV this is obviously wrong because well if you look at the at the diagrams you can see that there is even higher voltage than 2.7 kilovolts on them so makes no sense they they kind of I don't know put this mistake in there it's definitely 27 kilovolts so yeah quite nice I will definitely try to power up this tube um, and build a coil with it I have wait I have these caps here I have 300 of them I already sold that on bleed down resistors they are 1000 what? wait no, why isn't it focusing 1000 microfarads at 300 volt and I will make a nice big high voltage capacitor with them uh, and it will have a total total energy storage of 13 kilojoule so I can make a nice Tesla coil with them and with that cap I want to power up this tube so yeah this is pretty much all I got oh wait I forgot something here a socket for the GU81 pretty cool uh, I wanted one all the time it's bolted to bolted to this piece of wood but yeah um, this, these these are pretty nice you can get them it's not rare but it's expensive so yeah um, this was the update uh, pretty good and big update I would say so in the future there will be definitely projects well <clears throat> tubes like this will be difficult to power up um, because well I would need over 160 kilowatts to get the full rated 100 kilowatts out of this tube but um, maybe at some point when I'm rich in like 20 years I can buy a very nice big diesel generator and power up such tubes I mean you can get diesel generators for 7000 euros that can put out roughly 100 kilowatts so it's not impossible <laughs> but yeah this was the update um, some nice tubes there will be experiments with the magnetrons in the future I will I will try to power them up as soon as I can but yeah it's pretty cool uh, I'm very happy with my with my tubes here um, I don't really want to tell you guys how much I spent but it was a crazy good deal um, but it was still kind of a lot of money but it was definitely worth it and also I cannot tell you guys where I got these tubes from this will be my little secret but yeah I think it doesn't matter so yeah that's about it this was my small quick update and as I told you guys in the future you can expect some new videos and experiments so yeah, bye.